Hello everybody, this is Abed and today's topic is going to be how to install Windows using a USB flash drive. Now normally you would have a disk but if for some reason you need a flash drive and there are certain circumstances why you must use a USB flash drive. Um, one of them is if you have a notebook. Notebooks don't have optical drives so you need a USB flash drive to install Windows. Um, second option is that you just finished building a computer and you forgot to add an optical drive. And you and during that process you discovered that you're a dumbass and that is exactly my situation right here. Uh, by the way, if you'd like to check my b new computer build video, there should be a, an annotation on the screen right now. Moving on. So in today's video, we're going to be covering Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. Now, if you don't want to view all of these all together, there should be annotations on your screen right now to select which part of the video you want to watch so you can navigate through. So let's begin. All right, first off, we're going to start with, win with Windows 7. Now, uh, if you want to install Windows 7, you're going to need two things. You're going to need the ISO file of Windows 7 itself, and you're going to need the USB download tool. Now, I'll give links of both of these in the description, but I'll just need to talk about them for a little bit. This is an ISO file. An ISO file is a image of a desk. So, uh, if you double click this, as you can see, uh, it gives you an option to burn this into a DVD. Now, we're not going to use a disk anyway, so we're going to have to find a way to burn this onto a USB flash drive and that's exactly what this tool right here does. Now I just want to point out that this is actually a trial version of the Windows so it, this having this is completely legal it's uh, not wrong. You can get this ISO from Microsoft's website but you must have a serial number uh, that you can put onto their website. Now you can do that which I will provide a link for but you can also download from other websites and this is still the trial version. So either way, you're just going to end up with this ISO file. And uh, this is also from Microsoft. You're, I'm going to give a link to this in the description. And what this does is put all of the files in this disk image file in our flash drive. Now let's just in install this. As you can see, this is an installation. Very fairly quick and easy. I installed it already. And... Um, it's right here. Make sure to run this as a uh, administrator. All right, so now it asks you for ISO file. You go for browse and uh, locate the uh, ISO file that you downloaded earlier. All right, now it asks you what you want to do. Now you can either choose a USB device or a DVD. Now obviously we're going to go for USB device, but if you want to have the installation ready on a DVD for a, for a later time, uh, that's also a good idea and you can do it using this software as well. So we're going to go USB device. Now we're going to need a flash drive with at least 4 gigabytes. Now I have an 8 gigabytes uh, flash drive and as you can see uh, we have 4.3 left. So I'm using this for uh, data storage, but Bear in mind, doing this uh, is going to format your flash drive. Now, what you need to do is back up everything on your flash drive. And then, afterwards, uh, you're going to have to install. And after installing all of this, you can put your files right back. So let's just begin copying. Now, as you can see, it's going to ask you for uh, erasing. So make sure you back up your files. And... And it's just going to format and afterwards it's just going to copy the files. So I'll see you after it finishes. So just finished copying. So if we go to our computer, we can see that our flash drive has changed the icon to the Windows. It looks just like the icon if you had the original disk. And as you can see, if we open it up, it has the contents of a regular Windows installation desk. If you restart your computer, uh, it will automatically initiate a Windows install. All right, moving on, we're going to go with Windows 8.1 this time. All you need to, to do this is just one simple file. It's called the Media Creation Tool. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for downloading this. Now, uh, you just right click and run as administrator. Say yes. Now it will open the application for us. Okay, so 
it ge it asks for a few general settings for example the language go with whatever language you want the edition we have just two versions the 8.1 basic and the pro and make sure to select the appropriate one for you because you're going to have to put your very own serial number that is associated with the thing you bought with their with Microsoft so if you bought a, a, an 8.1 version and you here select an 8.1 Pro it won't work so uh, select whatever you which you bought or will buy and then we're gonna go with architecture now I won't go into very great detail about this but basically a 32-bit system cannot allocate more than 4 gigabytes of RAM why is that because it's 2 to the power of 32 bits so that's uh, 4 gigabytes exactly now uh, with the 64-bit that limit is gone it's 2 to the power of 64 which is tons and tons higher than only 4 gigabytes so if you have more than 4 gigabytes of RAM you should go with 64-bit we're gonna click next it gives you two options you can either have the ISO file that we talked about in the previous Windows 7 installation but what basically this does is we can burn this ISO file into a disk but uh, we're going with a USB flash drive in this video so click next now uh, it's gonna show you all the flash drive that you have uh, connected to your computer I only have one so click next now make sure to back up all of the data inside because it's going as you can see to format the entire drive and make the Windows installation inside so make sure to back up and then click OK now it's going to start it's going to download the files and then it's going to install them which could take a while it's gonna give you an estimated time uh, fairly soon shouldn't take long but basically after doing this after this finishes you're basically just finished and you just have to restart your computer in order to boot up with the installation and finally we're gonna go with Windows 10 again all you need to have is the media creation tool I will give a link for downloading this application right click and run as administrator This is a fairly quick and simple tool. It just does everything by itself. There's absolutely nothing uh, complicated to do here. Uh, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it gives you the uh, license agreement. So obviously, press accept. Uh, you have two options here you can either upgrade right now using this tool so if you have an applicable device such as a Windows 7 device like I have right here you can upgrade this immediately but for the purpose of this video we're gonna have an installation media for another PC so click next now um, you can use this but you can tweak this to your liking you can change the, the language the edition for Windows and the architecture now uh, the difference between these two is fairly simple I would not go into detail 32-bit architecture does not allocate more than 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 bits doesn't have that limitations so if you have more than 4 gig or shall I say 4 or more gigabytes of RAM you should always go 64-bit um, so that was my recommended uh, options for the, this PC of course you can untick this and change it to your liking so as you done you click next now you have two options you have you can either have a USB flash drive as we're going to do with this video or an ISO file I feel like that I should be explaining this as well an ISO file is a disk image file and to do this and uh, doing this we're going to have to burn the ISO files into a disk later but uh, we're not going to do that we're going with a USB flash drive so click next it gives you all the flash drives connected to your computer I just have the one that I'm going to use so this one you can always refresh if it doesn't show up and click next now uh, it just started the process 
um, should take quite a while because it's going to download the entirety of the Windows installation media and install it onto your flat drive. So um, you can, as you can see, feel free to keep using your computer, just minimize this and do whatever you want to do. And when it finishes, you just have to restart your computer. So I'll see you guys in the BIOS menu. Now all that is left is that you restart your computer with your uh, USB device inserted. Now if it, the installation doesn't load up by itself, uh, you just mash your F11 button or whatever button that is associated with your boot menu, but that is in most cases just F11. And just move up your uh, USB device to the top so it loads up first.